Hi, Chris here at Penwood. Um, today we're going to be cooking uh, on the PK grill again. We're going to do some indirect cooking. Uh, we got a set of uh, uh, beef back ribs here uh, that we're going to put on. We got our chimney uh, starter fired up here uh, using a Clay Hill Hickory uh, charcoal. So we got it all going. We're going to put it just on the one side. We have with the uh, PK, they have uh, double draft controls, one on each side on the top and the bottom. So on the bottom, we have this in here open. We're going to close the one on the top on that side. And on this side on the bottom, we have that one closed. And we're going to keep this in here open on the top. So our air and heat comes up, comes over, and we can indirect cook these. I'm going to put the, uh, the grate in and uh, with the PK we'll um, have the one side that we can lift up so if we have to add some fuel in there also some of our smoking wood. Today we're going to cook with a chunk of uh, Texas post oak and a chunk of apple. I'm going to close this up let that warm up in there a little bit and get started on the uh, the back ribs. So the back ribs come off of uh, where you have a prime rib. So when you do a prime rib roast without the bone, they have cut this piece off of there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cook that up. Usually it's about seven bones is what you get on a uh, back rib from a beef. So I did take the uh, membrane off of these. Um, I just cut them so they fit on the PK a little easier without using a rack. Um, today we're gonna, what we're gonna season them up with is gonna be a um, little bit of uh, duck fat. So the oil spray gives a little more richness of a flavor, adds a little more to it. So we're just gonna hit it. We're using one of my favorite Texas beef, uh, Three Little Pigs uh, beef rub. Um, works great, beef ribs, prime rib, briskets. Um, been a real favorite here. So I don't rub that in, I just take and pat that on there, because rubbing it in really not doing nothing. If you season it on there pretty evenly, um, you don't need to rub it around. Uh, in my opinion, it really doesn't add much to it. Hit that side and then give a nice even coating. So we have added um, on the original PK a thermometer on the end, uh, which is used a lot more for your low and slow cooks, um, anything indirect like that. Uh, and the PK360, that comes with it on the front. On the original, we put it on the, the end here where we're gonna monitor our food, our temperature. And end up running about 250 to 275 degrees. So they have a grate in here to flip up, so it makes it easier to add your wood or, like I said, other uh, fuel.
There we go. So we got them on. Uh, I'm going to close this up. Let this cook um, for about three hours uh, this way. And then we'll probably come back and uh, check them and uh, check the fuel and the wrap them um, to finish them out. All right, so we're back. Uh, it's been about four hours uh, letting these cook in here. We haven't done anything with the smoker other than we did add a little bit of uh, fuel. Um, so we did, but that was it. So we've been running about 250 degrees the whole time. Um, they're really pulling back from the bone. So what we're going to do is take them and wrap them in some foil, let them rest for a while. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and serve them up. Um, set there about 10 minutes or so and then we're going to serve these up all right so we're back here and uh we left these uh ribs set up for a little while let them relax um these little cotton liners do wonders uh to be able to handle hot hot meat uh, just takes that edge off uh putting them on underneath your Gloves. Oh, yeah. There we go, you got a good texture. Pulls right apart. Nice and juicy inside oh. <clears throat> so good. 